I have a question. Are technical tutorials, online tutorials, enough to help you get your first job in tech? Let's talk about that right now. What's up, what's up, what's up, everyone? I have something to talk about. I am not in the USA right now. I mean, I'm not even in the country. I'm in Korea right now. And I was on a 13 hour flight here to Korea because I'm transferring to another flight to Manila. And I thought about something that I want to talk about really quick before I even get to the Philippines, which was, can tutorials actually help you get your first job? Because I think a lot of people look at tutorials thinking that that's all you need. And that's something that I really want to talk about today. Question one, are technical tutorials enough? I think it depends on how you approach it. If you're going through a technical tutorial thinking that that's literally all you need to get a job, you're going to fail. Why? Because if you go into your first couple of technical interviews or just your first interviews trying to get your first job in tech, the first thing people will ask is, how have you been learning code? What are you doing? And if your answer to them is, I've literally been learning code just through, I don't know, Udemy. <laughs> Right? I'm, I'm, I'm only learning code through whatever other websites are out there for learning code online. And the reason I bring this up is because for someone like me who's interviewed so many people in tech, trying to get their first job as a junior developer, et cetera, you name it, the people who often mention that are the people I ended up not hiring. Because why would I hire someone who only depends on tutorials? Why would I hire someone who doesn't even try to build something outside of a tutorial and only depend on that? Because you have to understand, that when you're trying to get your first job in tech, you're not gonna be depending on tutorials to get your job done. A lot of the time, when you're working in tech, when you're solving tickets, when you're solving bugs, when you're building something, when you get stuck, your tutorial won't help you, your problem solving skills will help you. So if you're telling your interviewers, right, that you're just learning how to code through tutorials, but not necessarily learning how to problem solve, meaning trying to build things on your own, that will make it even more difficult for you to get a job. In general, are tutorials enough? No, it is not. Tutorials are not enough to help you get your first job. I think it's the intention behind that. Right, so for example, I need to learn how to work with um, Databricks. I don't really have experience doing that. Databricks is like a lake house and you can do multiple things with that. Now I'm gonna use a tutorial to become more familiar with Databricks as a data engineer, but I'm not utterly going to depend on that. I'm gonna use that tutorial to help me understand how Databricks works, how to work with it, et cetera. And then I need to build multiple things outside of that to get more comfortable. Now, the thing is when I interview for future jobs in this industry, in big data, in data engineering, the fact that I bring things like this up, for example, yeah, I use some tutorials here and there to understand how Databricks works, but I did this and I did X that to become more familiar and build more things so I could understand what pain that developers go through to even try to work with Databricks in the first place. So again, I think one of the biggest mistakes that people make is that they, number one, they utterly depend on tutorials, which is never enough. It's you use that tutorial to help you build a solid foundation and whatever you're trying to learn. And then on top of that, you build X amount of projects or you try to attack this problem or you try to do another thing, right? But if you just utterly depend on that and when you get interviews, I'm sorry, but it's gonna become even that much more difficult for you to get your first job. So no, do not utterly depend on that stuff. I'm um, really go above and beyond. One thing I recommend on top of technical tutorials is to like maybe you can go to Hashnode, go to Dev2, right? Any technical blog posts out there that help teach you how to build something outside of these tutorials will go so much further, will help you stand out so much more. And to be honest, you can build more projects using technical blog posts to build something than a 20, 30 hour video on just trying to understand one technology. All right, so no, it's not enough. Anyway, this is just my small rant on tutorials that I don't want to talk about while I'm here in Korea. Thank you all for watching. I hope this helped you out. If there's anything I missed, let me know in the comment section below. Have any questions, let me know and I'll get back to y'all ASAP in the comments as well. And if you can, please like this video, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. This is Chris Sean. This is Life of Developer, and I'm out. Peace.